articles and days of the week. In Spanish. Okay, let's start by remembering the days of the week in Spanish. So for Monday, we have lunes. For Tuesday, we have martes. For Wednesday, we have miércoles, for Thursday, we have jueves, then for Friday, we have Viernes. For Saturday, we have Sábado. And for Sunday, we have Domingo. Okay, first, notice that we write the days of the week in Spanish with a small letter. We don't use a capital letter at the beginning, except, of course, if you are writing them after a period or at the beginning of a paragraph. But if not, you don't need to use a capital letter as in English, just a small letters. That's because the, the days of the week are not considered proper nouns in Spanish. They are common nouns. Okay. Also notice that from lunes to Friday, all these days are ending in an S, not Sábado and Domingo, they are ending in a vowel, but from Monday to Friday, lunes to viernes, they are ending in an S. So you, you can ask uh, how we can say Mondays if we want to say just not Monday, but Mondays in Spanish. Okay. In that case, we need to use the articles. So for Monday, we say el lunes. And for Mondays, we say los lunes. So the plural is the same for the day and then the article, in this case, the definite article, is the one telling us that this is singular, el lunes, and this is plural, los lunes. Okay. Then for Saturday and Sábado and Domingo, because they're ending in, in a vowel, there's no problem. We can say... For example, Saturday, el sábado, and then Saturdays, los sábados. So we have the plural with an S, 
and in the singular ending in a vowel. El sábado, los sábados, and the same for Sunday. El domingo, los domingos. Okay. Then, um, because of the days of the week are masculine in Spanish, we are using masculine articles. So, el lunes, not la lunes. All of them, from Monday to Sunday, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo, all of them are masculine. So, they are el lunes, el martes, el miércoles, el jueves, el viernes, el sábado, el domingo, or in the plural, los lunes, los martes, los miércoles, los jueves, los viernes, los sábados, los domingos. Okay. Well, now let's see how we can say, for example, on Tuesday, And on Tuesdays, also, every Tuesday, or each Tuesday. Also, this. Tuesday and that Tuesday. Okay, let's see. On Tuesday, and this applies for the rest of the days, on Tuesday is el martes. So we need to use the article in this case when in English is on, but in Spanish is da. That Tuesday, el martes. On Tuesdays, los martes. Or every Tuesday, each Tuesday, it's cada martes. Or you can also say this, todos los martes. But then notice that if you use the word each, cada is in the singular, cada martes. If you use the word all of them, todos, then you're using the plural, todos los martes. Okay, now this Tuesday, este martes, And that Tuesday, ese martes. Again, because martes is a masculine noun as the rest of the days of the week, este is the masculine this, and ese is the masculine that. So remember that in Spanish we have esto, neutral, este, masculine, esta feminine, but in this case, we are using the masculine. Este martes, ese martes. Okay, now let's see how we say next Tuesday and last Tuesday. Next Tuesday. And last. Tuesday. Okay, next Tuesday is el próximo martes. There are other ways to say the same, but this is very common. El próximo martes. And last Tuesday, el Pasado 
martes. And if you want, you can change the word order and you can say el martes próximo. And el martes pasado. As you prefer. So some people prefer to say el próximo martes and some people prefer to say el martes próximo and the same for el pasado martes or el martes pasado. Okay. Now, let's see what happens if you want to say something like the previous Tuesday. And the following Tuesday. If you are talking, for example, not about these days, but so something that happened long ago, then, for example, you can say there was a meeting. in 1971 hubo una reunión en 1971 and then you say oh and then the following Tuesday or talking about something that happened before the meeting the previous Tuesday you can say el martes anterior anterior is a word that you can also use to say former literally anterior is former and previo is literally previous El martes anterior, but it's more common to say anterior in Spanish. El martes anterior, the previous Tuesday. Or the following Tuesday. El martes siguiente. Siguiente is following. Okay, now let's see some examples using on Tuesday or on Tuesday or with another date of the week. For example, on Tuesday, comma, I go to the market. Tuesday and go to the market. El martes. Yo voy al mercado. Or, if you prefer to use the plural, on Tuesdays. I go to the library. Los martes yo voy, and you can omit yo if you want, you can say just voy. Yo voy a la biblioteca. So we don't say on, remember that in Spanish, en can be used for, at, in, or on, but we are not using en in this case, we are using the definite article. 
on Tuesday, el martes, on Tuesdays, los martes. Okay, so we have then all these options in Spanish. On Tuesday, el martes, on Tuesdays, los martes, every Tuesday, todos los martes, each Tuesday, cada martes, this Tuesday, este martes, that Tuesday, ese martes, next Tuesday, el próximo martes, or el martes próximo, last Tuesday, el pasado martes, el martes pasado, and if you're talking about something that happened long ago, you can say the previous Tuesday, el martes anterior, or the following Tuesday, el martes siguiente. Okay. Any question, you can ask in the comments below. That's all for today, folks.